On the Medical Watch, listening to the symptoms of ADD and dyslexia and targeting the ear to make a difference. I knew something was wrong, but I had no idea. He could not focus very well. He was having, he still didn't know how to read in second grade. I remember I'd have two page math tests and I'd finish maybe like the first three problems in the time it took the other kids to finish the test. Then movement in the right direction. By the end of third grade, he had come a long way. He learned how to read. He was feeling better about himself. Math was much easier. I'm succeeding in all my classes. And he's doing great in school. All thanks to an anti-motion drug. I found that they had an inner ear problem, and I started treating them with anti-motion sickness medications. Neurologist and psychiatrist Dr. Harold Levinson uses over-the-counter drugs and found they helped with dyslexia, attention deficit, hyperactivity, concentration, and distraction. It fine-tunes the signals. The individuals can see better, they can understand better, they can remember better, they can concentrate better, and they can control their activity levels and their impulsivity. And they can reduce the need for stimulants like Ritalin. So it's a much safer treatment. It's a much more comprehensive treatment, and it's based on solid knowledge, not just on the basis of symptoms, but neurological tests can actually tell you exactly where the problem is, namely within the inner ear. It's called vestibular syndrome, and it encompasses so many of the challenges school children face every day. By properly treating the fine-tuning impairment within the inner ear system in a, in a supercomputer called the cerebellum, what it does, it acts like a fine-tuner to all the stations in the brain. The treatment has Max Anstett looking ahead to a career in engineering. I'm a straight-A student. He takes accelerated classes in high school, and He's doing terrific. Dr. Levinson documents his treatment in a book called The Out of Sync Child and the follow-up called Smart But Feeling Dumb. For more information, log on to our webpage, WGNTV.com. On the Medical Watch, Dina Baer, WGN News.